Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel, Living Life with Leticia. I'm so happy to see y'all today. First, our devotion coming from our King James. Talk about loving thy neighbor. I find this passage interesting. Hate goes against God's law. God is love. So there is no hate in God. Even in the story of Cain and Abel, God marks Cain so that no one will kill him. So how can we hate? It's okay not to like someone. We all do that. But hate implies that we wish someone evil, and that's not okay. To love our neighbor means that we don't wish him any evil. <clears throat> this doesn't mean that we have to approve everything our neighbor does. No, not at all. In fact, this passage tells us it's okay to rebuke someone, even a friend or a family member and not get involved in behavior contrary to God's law. Going back to Cain and Abel, revenge is also contrary to God's will for us. So much violence would be avoided if people didn't seek revenge. As I mentioned the other day, today a person who feels disrespected often gathers friends to get even with that person. This leads to a larger group of friends getting even with others and so on and so on. Feuds of sorts, feuds of this sort have become commonplace among many groups of young people as we have as we have become such a them and us society. Some feuds seem to last one generation to the next generation, and often people don't even remember what the bad feelings began, nor do they know the cause. How do you want to be treated? How do I feel? If I want to be treated kindly with respect, then it is my responsibility to treat others the same. It's not always easy to love those who we don't like, but that's what God not only expects of us, but commands us. Our prayer today is compassion of God. You love us all in spite of our weakness and sinfulness. Help us to treat others with the same compassion with which you treat us. Amen. All right, so let's talk today about, we're going to talk about springtime, summertime, time time. It is going to be so lovely. We had two days of wonderful weather uh, last week, so we got a taste of what spring is going to be like moving forward. So I'm happy to know that... Um, We'll be able to get outside. You can move around. I plan on doing some bicycling. Uh, my anniversary, well, not anniversary, but my retirement gift was a bicycle. And so I got to get me a helmet. And then we're going to go bicycling with me on the roads. Ah, to see what that's going to be like. <laughs> uh, the other day, I also got a chance to grill a little bit. So I didn't record that. Uh, there's going to be plenty, plenty, plenty opportunities because we're going to have some cookouts. We're going to invite some people over. Y'all can come by video only. But And it's going to be so much better, better than the last several years, of course. Because we've had to spend so much time alone. So much time together and alone. Um, that it's become now, you know, I, I look for any reason to kind of be around people. If that makes sense. I don't want to just be around, around, around. You know, I don't have to be right there in your face, face. But I want, you know, to have some kind of interaction. Because, you know what? Life is so short. And life is just... It's going. And we don't have to say so of when it stops for us. So we just got to do what we can while we can do it when we can do it. And today is the day that the Lord has made, so let's be glad in it. Uh, shopping and getting outdoors. And then think about some ways to save money in this spring and summer time uh, so we can fight inflation and still have a good summertime. Because you don't have to really go anywhere to enjoy your time off. You can enjoy your time off at your home. Um, it's just what you make it be. It's however you make it be. Now, I've had, especially during the COVID, during, ugh, especially during COVID, I had a spa day for us, and that was here at the house. It was for me and my bubby. Um, 
I had the candles all lit. I did a massage for, not necessarily a massage, but his back was bothering him. So I had him lay on the floor and then I had the music, you know, just going. And then we had our bath time and I had his shower going and my bath was red. So you, it, um, this, this life is, it doesn't matter what's going on. It's what you make of it. I make my own fun. I have to, because if I don't, I drive myself crazy because I like to sing. I like to dance. I like to do all of that. And I know y'all waiting to see all of that. And you will. Because I do it all the time. But <laughs> anyway, um, that's just me. That's what I'm saying. This right here, this, this uh, YouTube, I ain't been waiting for it. It's been waiting for me. It's been waiting for me. And that's all it is to it. So, look, you may say that you were doing this too. And I may say, no, you weren't. Because I don't know that you were doing anything because I didn't see you in your own home. And you don't know that this is what I was doing, except I got footage, possibly. I don't know. If I do, so what? And if I don't, so what? It's my word against yours. So anyway, making it through this inflationary time, gas prices have skyrocketed, food prices have skyrocketed, but we're also looking at other ways to do the same thing you would do um, for a little bit less. My shopping trip, hold on, I had a list. I did have a list. My shopping trip was to consist of about six items. But I'll show you what I got. And nothing did I need. I didn't need nothing. Why did I say that backwards? I didn't need nothing. I didn't need nothing. Honestly, I did not need nothing. Hold on. I'll be right back. I got my list. These are the things I needed, which included mascara, onion, tomatoes, tomato sauce and tomato paste, potatoes, salad, bread, and then allergy medicine. So I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Mm -hmm. See, eight. That ain't what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm retired. I ain't got no money. I ain't got no job. I ain't got no money. I'm retired. This is the other thing I took with me. Coupons. Did I even look at the coupons? No. 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 But I didn't buy none of this stuff either. But maybe I would have. Since I was out spending money. I didn't. I bought a ham, a ham. No, that's for thanks. I mean, for Easter. I keep saying Thanksgiving. Easter, Easter. I bought a ham for Easter. Okay, sue me. <laughs> they weren't even on a good price. A ham ain't no here. That ham is what I bought. I bought lotion. I mean. I got to work on that. I, that's my that's my problem there. If I could um, stop my compulsive shopping or whatever it is, uh, money spending of money that I need to keep, I always rationalize with myself. If I wait and buy it, then it may be ha uh, the price may have increased. Who knows? I mean, you know, that's how I make myself feel like. You didn't do a bad job. You did a good job by buying it now. That's how I deal with myself. I don't know. Anyway, I have a problem. Somebody need to help me solve it. Dollar General. Dollar General was the place that I would go to shop for my uh, house cleaning products because they were much cheaper. And I could use my coupons as well. And at the time, there was no... Um, there was no bleach <laughs> during COVID. 
So whatever you found that included bleach, and I love the smell of bleach. It makes me think that everything's clean. So I was looking for bleach, 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 bleach. Nobody had no bleach. So when we went to Sam's, they had the big Clorox cleaning stuff. And I used that. Um, so I just bought a big jug of it. It You have to make sense of you spending your money where you spend your money. Now, if you don't care about saving money here, you may care about saving money elsewhere. So you have to tell everybody about your tips. This is my show, so I'm telling you about my tips. Okay. okay. Hey, Cardi B. Okay. Didn't think I could do that. My grandbabies look at me when I do that. They're like, you can do that? Uh, yes, I can. Okay. So, um, I have to keep looking up like this because that light and this light, I have to look right at a certain angle. Because otherwise, I'm going to get the glare up there. I'm going to get the glare down here. I'm going to get the glare over there. I'm going to get the glare right there. So, I have to do this. Stay right here. And that's okay for me to do if that's okay for you to have me to do it. Okay, the dollar store is typically not the best place to purchase items that are fragile. But I like those big goblets. I bought them from the Dollar Tree. Now they don't last that long. I'm singing again. They don't last that long. They don't last that long. But they're a dollar, okay? And you got to be careful with them. Don't drop no ice in them. Don't let the ice drop in them. You just got to pour the ice in them. You can't let it drop out of the ice machine or ice maker out of... Mm -mm. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? So, beware of your breakables at the dollar um, stores and stuff like that. But, again, I buy... I bought glassware there and it's been okay because I don't have that big of expectations out of it you know you spend a dollar you spend a dollar you don't have that big of expectations okay all right then it also says when you're buying from those places like Dollar General Dollar Blood whatever Dollar Tree or Family Dollar always check your expiration dates like on your foods your batteries and over-the-counter medicines and supplements which I do on the first two, nah, well, on the first one. The batteries, I'm learning to do that because I have gotten batteries home and they were no good. And then what you do, you go get some more, you take those back. I mean, you know, hey, you take them out of another thing and you have to use it. You do what you got to do. My husband frowns on me because he's a battery. He loves flashlights and he keeps batteries. I'm just going to say that. It's out in the open. He loves flashlights and he loves batteries. Okay, well, yes, we all got our whatever. Mine is paper sacks. <laughs> paper bags. I'm a bag lady. I'm a bag lady. I like bags. I love bags. I love bags with handles. Oh, my gosh, I love them. I'm a bag lady, okay? All right. The dollar stores often carry um, name brands, but with smaller packages. You know, they're a dollar or a dollar twenty-five or two dollars. You know, so you have to think about that. What is the, how much are you actually getting in that for a dollar? So if you paid this for a dollar, well, for that, I'm gonna say yeah. So you've got a little miniature of something like dish liquid. Dish soap. So you bought that for a dollar, and this over here was a dollar and sixty nine cents, and you're getting almost twice as much. So, you know, you may want to get that dollar sixty nine uh, one because it's bigger. Plus, you may have a coupon for it. So, you know, why would you get the dollar one when you could, you know, get upsize it or? But that's for certain things. You don't always need the bigger and better. You know, when it comes with it, I hate it when they say, do you want to supersize it? No, I don't, I don't want to supersize. I just want regular size. What time is it? 12, 22. Uh, I just want regular size of everything. Regular size. I want regular size of food. I don't need no supersonic of uh, the biggest of the baddest and the 
big jupa joppa of burgers. No, I don't want the jupa joppa. I want just a regular burger I can bite. I don't need no when I got to scoop up with a crane and uh, no. <laughs> I know I'm stupid. Okay. Then the other thing is what I just said. What I just said. What I just say. Cubans. Use your my. Oh my gosh, my daughter-in-law. She is well, and she may not want me to tell you tell you her business. I don't want to tell her tell you her business. But okay, then I'm just gonna say friends of mine is coupon wings, baby. They got the coupon game sold up, or they did. Now I don't know if couponing is still going on, but hunty child, let me tell you when I tell you that the girl got a gift. She can make the coupons do what coupons ain't never done, what coupons ain't never supposed to have done. She can make them coupons talk to you and come out of there with them owing her money, okay? I'm just saying. The girl got it. Shop for me any day that you want to, okay? All right, but use your coupons and then do as I do and do as I say do. You're supposed to make a list. Now, it don't say anything in here about sticking to your list. And that's where I have the problem. You know, I, I, if I could stick to my list, then that would be great. I wouldn't come out of here from this to this. Mm -mm. I wouldn't have that. Then I would also use my coupon. So this is just shopping tips for you girls and guys that's out there that's trying to save a dime in this inflation world out here. Um, I can't help you on, out on the gas. The only thing I can tell you when you, if you don't have nowhere to go, don't go. You ain't got nowhere to go. Why are you going? Oh, I just want to go ride. You been, you, have you looked at the gas prices lately? Turn the car off. Don't even start it. Don't even start the car up. It'll start when you get ready to start it. But you just use the whole gallon of gas at $5 and $1,000 uh, uh, per gallon. Then, mm-mm, mm-mm. Save your gas. Stay at home. Eat your meals at home. Cook. Just cook. I mean, I know I got time because I'm retired and I ain't got no job. Um... But yeah, just stay at home. It's going to be hot anyway. Where are you going? Somewhere to sweat. Nobody want to smell you? Stay at home. Don't go nowhere. I mean, I ain't going to say don't go nowhere. Go places. But as if you got some places to go. Somebody is going through the same thing that you are going through or have gone through. You are there to lift them up and tell them, hey, it's going to be okay. It's going to be all right. I did it. I went through that. I had that experience. And girl, look at me. Ah, thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ooh. And I ain't playing. You're a testimony for somebody. You are a testimony. Regardless of whether you want to admit it or know it or not, you, you can go, you're going to go through some stuff. If you haven't gone through that thing yet, you're going to go through it. And you're going to come out of it like nobody else. And you're going to have something to tell somebody. So that's what I'm doing. Each one, teach one. If there's something that I can help you with by giving you my life experiences and telling you and helping you and going through you, going through my experiences so you don't necessarily have to. Or if you want to, like my son says, Mama. Let me just go through whatever I'm going to go through. And you know what? I'm like, son, you ain't said nothing but a word. Because honestly, that's what it's about. You got to go through something to get somewhere. And if you never get a chance to go through nothing, you have nothing to talk about to me. Tell me something that you don't went through. Tell me something about where you been. Because nobody knows your story more than you know your own story. And you are the teller of that story. And the sooner you get ready to start telling it, the better off we all going to be. Now, it may be some bumps and humps and lumps in that story. But hey, you came out on the other end. And that is a testimony of your life. So today, let this day be the day that 
let you realize that you got some you got some things that you can tell people that they can come out okay with. You got some things that you can tell people that, um, yeah, girl, that happened to me. And this is what I did. Or this is what you shouldn't do. This is what I did. So don't do what I did. This life is about making it to the other side, whatever that other side is, whatever it be for you. You got a story to tell and you got something to tell somebody that'll help them in their life. You do. You really do. I do. And I'm going to be helping you as much as I can. So like, share, subscribe. And always come back to see what I'm talking about today. Because you don't ever know what I'm going to be talking about. Be blessed and be a blessing. Deuces.